Now your TV5 first alert forecast, certified most accurate by weather rate. Well, good Saturday evening, folks. We had a pretty decent Saturday for us overall after we had a bit of a messy Friday, and uh, it didn't take too long for that snow to get cleared away because we had the sunshine and temperatures got above freezing rather quickly this morning. And of course, road crews did a pretty good job out there clearing out those roads. You can see I-75 is looking good, almost entirely dry now, except for a few patchy wet spots due to that melting snow. Clouds have also moved back into the area, so we are talking about a bit of a cloudier forecast going into the rest of the evening hours before we do have a chance to work in some showers out there. A look at our temperatures shows us a pretty interesting pattern that we don't see very often. You can see down towards Flint and Lapeer holding temperatures in those lower 40s. Of course, that's where we got some of that heavier, fresh snow from last night and further to the north and west Alma still holding at 46 and earlier this afternoon we were actually looking at places north of the bay uh, kind of working in there places like West Branch actually getting up near 50 degrees and again that's because of the fresh snow that we got last night for places further to the south keeping a bit of a lid on how high those temperatures could go and further to the north there is some snow pack up there but it's not quite as fresh and you really got to have that fresh snow to really make a difference on those temperatures and the sky tracker right now we are dry across mid Michigan even though it does show us that we have a few showers moving through. We've got a lot of dry air in place, kind of like the start of the snow for us last night, and so that's kind of keeping uh, an, a, a lid on where things are going for us right now. But with time, we will see those showers continuing to move in, especially the ones that are back over Lake Michigan right now that will be actually causing uh, some rain and snow mix to move through, and I expect most of that to occur after sundown for us. You can see those showers moving through, and we're talking a mix between the rain and snow, but notice the temperatures underneath of those. So at the surface here, we're still looking at temperatures above freezing. So even if we do have some flakes fall or maybe a little drizzle that does have the chance to freeze, it likely won't because our temperatures are still above freezing, especially on the roadways out there after getting some sunshine today that really helps uh, warm things up. And even further north, we were talking about how those temperatures uh, got up near 50 and that's the best chance for some of that snow further to the north. So it doesn't really look like we have too many road impacts expected from this going into early tomorrow morning even. And most of these should be out of here as we go head into the morning hours. This is 3 a.m. now. Almost all of them are out of the area and notice temperatures also attempt to stay above freezing. The only spot that we might see a few areas that get below freezing will be closer to Houghton Lake for a very brief time. You can see that there, but quickly uh, we're starting to warm back up as we head throughout the rest. I'm your Sunday. Another uh, similar story here. Look at Flint. We're talking 37 degrees, but up there in uh, portions of northern Michigan, they're north of the bay. We're looking at those lower 40s. So again, another situation where that fresh snowfall keeping a lid on things down near Flint. We do also have the chance to work in some sunshine for tomorrow as well. But as we go to Monday, we do add yet another chance for some snowfall to mid Michigan. Now, disclaimer doesn't look like we're going to have a big issue with any ice or anything like that, and it's not going to be quite as impactful as some of uh, the more recent winter storms that we've seen like last night, but we do have another chance for accumulating snow across the north and potentially that rain snow mix for portions of uh, central Mich mid Michigan and especially across the south. So keeping a close eye on that one. Seven day forecast again, not too bad for tomorrow, but then we work in that chance for rain and snow for Monday lingering into early Tuesday morning and then it does look like we have a chance to work in some sunshine for your Wednesday, but notice towards the end of the forecast here, we're cooling those temperatures down into the lower 30s with more chances for snow as we end the week and head into the weekend. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.